Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm CD, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the hot tub, but what I'm about to do is show y'all how I produce for Bad Bunny, the meanest rabbit of them all. I'm gonna break down my process, so let's get right into it. I'm about to get out of here and put some shoes on and show y'all the process. So the first step of my process is usually just sitting on this couch, very homey vibes, and just trying to find some chords on the guitar. I don't really play guitar like that, but I know my way around a little, so. So I'm gonna lay that down real quick. So now I got the chords recorded. I'm going to just kind of build off that, add some little licks and some swag to it. Now that I have the guitar recorded, I'm going to do some top line ideas. I'm already hearing some little melodies kind of riding with the chords and the little licks in there. So I'm gonna sit here, come up with some stuff. I try to be sorry. It's not working at all. It's not working at all. It's not working at all. All right, I think I got enough takes in there. I'm just gonna chop it up. So now I have the sample foundation. I'm gonna play that real quick. And I don't know if y'all hear that little drum break, but that's actually just me bumping the mic on accident as chopped it. It's fun, that's free sauce, try it out. Hearing it back now, I think it would sound cool lowered. I'm gonna try like down five. I feel like that's a good sweet spot, so it's not too low. That's cool. We're gonna run with that. So to be honest, there's not too much of like a method when I do this stuff. I kind of just go on feel. So I'm just gonna listen through and kind of sporadically chop things. That's the method. It works. Maybe chop the guitar. And then chop this. Maybe for this second time around, I can go up five on this. So like, da, na, na. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. I'm gonna do a little pitch bend. And then probably, that's cool, okay. Da, 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 da. So the first part is just what I heard is the chop. I think it sounds cool. That's like the most interesting sort of ear catchy type part. When I arrange my samples. I like to have options. So I'll just arrange it down so I can have a mix of different things to pull from if I want. It's good for like bridges and like outros and all that. So I got it all rendered out. I'm gonna EQ it a little bit. What I love about FL now is you can do clone arrangement. So now I'll be like sample. And I can just delete all this, but it's still there in the other arrangement. Cut out some of the super lows because it's kind of muddy. And I'm not like a scientist when it comes to engineering. I kind of just mess around with the knobs until it sounds good. And that's a great method. That's what the pros do, to be honest. That's at a good spot. I think it feels good. It still kind of has that raw feeling to it, which I like. So now that I have the sample ready in a good place, I'm going to move over to the basement studio with the big boy speakers and drum it up. So I got the sample loaded up 
and I'm listening back. Definitely on some rock vibes. Gotta spice up the drums, make them a little bit more Latin, trap sounding. So I'm about to do that. And we're on FL, cause you know it has the carrot logo and bunnies like carrots. It just makes sense. New pattern for the 808. Want something like simple that knocks. This 808 has kind of a little pitch bend into it. So what I'm gonna do, little tip, go over here, pitch corrector, turn the variation down a tad, center it a little bit too. Leave a little variation for the swag, but nothing crazy. And sometimes I feel like the full volume drop on the slides is OD. So what I like to do is do the filter cutoff with the volume, it's kind of more subtle. And then I'll just add like a, a stop note right here because I have it on cut self, so this note's not playing anything. Maybe pitch it up a little bit. That could be cool. So the 808's not too low. Loki wants to speed it up. Here's a life hack, ready? So I want the swing knob, but not on everything because the hats kind of get messed up. But I want it on the 808, so I'm gonna go right here. Where is it? Set swing for selected. Let's go 25%. Give it a little bit more bounce. I'm gonna do the same thing for the kick, actually. So that's how I produced for Bad Bunny. He hasn't actually gotten on it yet, but I already did the producing side. So in that aspect, it checks out and you guys can't shit on me in the comments and call me a cap. And if you enjoyed what you just heard in this video, I've been making a lot of those every single day, sometimes two or three a day. And if you want to hear more of these ideas that I spend my lovely time on, because I love music and creating, you can click the link. It's somewhere up here or down below if you can't find it up here. And be sure to check them out. I love this pack and you'll probably like it too and be able to flip it in a cool way, maybe even cooler than I did. But yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. And peace. Oh.